Hi yogis, DJ Kim here. Welcome to day 44 of our 100 day yoga challenge. As we wrap up 2023 and look ahead to 2024, let's take a moment to reflect on our goals. Whether big or small, being healthy and happy is our common goal here. Perhaps the ultimate goal of life. There is an old saying, the journey of thousand miles begins with a single step. This reminds us to cherish each moment our path to well-being. Happiness is found in the present moment. So let's enjoy the process and start today's session focusing on mobility and strength. Please join me in a seated position at the center of the mat. With your eyes closed, with your spine upright comfortably, imagine there's a someone like pulling your crown of head upwards. From the tailbone to the crown of your head, there is a kind of line and you are somebody is pulling that line upwards. Palms on your knees or facing upwards, either way is fine. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose. As the body inhales and exhales. Be aware of the flow, especially enough energy flow through your spine, up and down, up and down. If you don't know how it feels like, just imagine somebody is pulling your spine upwards and there is a sensation. If you are being, if you are paying attention to the spine and your breath. As you inhale, energy going upwards from the tailbone to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, going down. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders and settle down in this sitting position. Relax. Gently bring your palms together at the heart. Let's start the practice with OM together. Please be aware of the sound, how it starts, how it lasts, how it ends. Inhale. Oh. Slowly open your eyes and join me in a tabletop pose at the center of the mat, hips above your knees, shoulders above your wrist. Let's move your body up back and forth. Let's work on our wrist first. Grab the mat as slightly gently into the mat, gripping the mat as you move forward and activate your wrists first, three more times, three, two, one, and palms facing towards the side and shift your body to the left and right, ten times, one, two, three, shoulders away from your ears, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fingers pointing towards yourself. And the same thing, move back and forth ten times. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Comes into kneeling pose. Shake your hands. Five, four, three, two, 
one come back into tabletop pose and this time lift your knees up and move forward and back five times five four three two one hold there five four three two one knees down come into a kneeling position and shake your hands one more time five four three two one come into come back into tabletop pose let's practice cat cow as you inhale lower the belly and look forward as you exhale round your back tuck your tailbone chin to the chest as you inhale, gently lower your belly, arch your back, look forward. As you exhale, round your back. Chin to the chest, tuck your tailbone under. As you inhale, move your hips back and arch your back, chest forward. As you exhale, ripple through your spine, move forward. As you inhale, move your hips back. And as you exhale, ripple through the spine. Be aware of your spine, how it moves as you inhale and exhale, as you move forward and back. Two more times. Inhale back and exhale. Tuck your tailbone under, ripple through your spine. And inhale one more time. Back and exhale. Come back to tabletop pose. Walk your hands a little forward and let down your chest, hips on top of your knees. Let down your chest or forehead, depending on your flexibility of your shoulders. And relax into puppy pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Active puppy pose. Press your palms and lift your body up and tuck your tailbone under. Five seconds. Five. Four, armpits towards your face. Three, two, engage your core. Two, one, relax into puppy pose. And just push your body and belly on the ground. Fit hips width apart or wider than hips width apart. Top of your feet on the ground. And elbow on top of your wrist. Push elbow down towards yourself and pubic bone down. Top of your feet down and chest up and forward. Sphinx, four, three, two, palms pressing down into the mat, two, one. As you exhale, come down, palms underneath your shoulders. As you inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades in, shoulders away from your ears, and then lift your body up, chest up and forward. Slowly, gently come into full cobra. Pubic bone pressing down into the mat, top of your feet down too. Look forward, shoulders away from your ears, squeeze your shoulder blades in, chest up and forward. Three, two, one. Comes down. We're going to do one more time. As you inhale, come back up. And exhale, stay there. Three more breaths. One. Squeeze your shoulder blades in. Two. And three. As you exhale, come back down. Tuck your toes under and hands at the level of top of your rib cage. Push. Come up to yogi push up. Push up. And come back to downward facing dog. Pedal your leg 10 times. Move your hips to the left as you bend your left knee. As you bend your right knee, move to the hips to the right. 10 times. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come back. Up to downward facing dog. As you inhale, step forward. As you exhale, belly on your thigh, four, four. Inhale, hips down. Exhale, hips up and high. 
Inhale, hips down. Exhale, up and high. Five more times. Belly always on the side. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. As you inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. Settle down into this standing pose. As you inhale, arms up towards the mountain pose. As you exhale, four, four. As you inhale, halfway up, push your palms into the mat as if you can actually handstand. As you exhale, comes into plank. Inhale, stay in a firm, strong plank. Exhale, knee down, bend your elbows, half down. As you inhale, chest up and forward, squeeze your shoulder blades in, cobra. As you exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, step forward, hip, fit hips with the par parallel to each other. As you exhale, four, four. As you inhale, arms up towards the sky mountain pose. As you exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. One more sun flotation. As you inhale, arms up towards the sky mountain pose. As you exhale, belly on your thigh, four, four. As you inhale, arm um, halfway up. As you exhale, step back, plank, tuck your tailbone under, protection of your shoulders. As you exhale, knee down, bend your elbows, shift your weight forward, four, half down. As you inhale, chest up and forward, pubic bone pressing down into the mat. As you exhale, downward facing down. As you inhale, step forward, feet hips width the apart, push your palms always into the one. As you exhale, four, forward. As you inhale, arms up towards the sky, mountain pose. As you exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. Let me go. Let's go through a vinyasa flow. As you inhale, arms up, mountain pose. As you exhale, four, four. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, plank. As you inhale, stay there. Exhale, knee down, half down. As you inhale, cobra. As you exhale, downward facing. As you inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee. Press your palm and press your left foot down into the ground and stretch. Three, two, one. Inhale, step forward and come up to warrior one. Five. Arms parallel to each other, palms facing to one another. Two, three, four, five. As you exhale, open your hips towards the left side of the mat. Pivot your right foot and come into warrior two. Squeeze your glutes, open your hips. And as you exhale, sit lower. Five, four, three. Shoulders away from your ears. Two, one. As you inhale, lift your right arms up and overhead. Bring your left hands, grab your right thigh. And stretch, reverse warrior, five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, bend your elbows in the back. If you can, grab the hands or bind your hands. If not, that's fine. Still there. Stay there. Archers, five. Let the knee, right knee push to the right side. Four, three, two, one. As you exhale, press palm into the mat, comes into plank. Inhale, stay there. As you exhale, knee down, half down. As you inhale, cobra, squeeze your shoulder blades in. As you exhale, downward facing down. As you inhale, lift your left leg up. As you exhale, bend your left knee. Push your palms and feet into the ground and stretch the left side of the body. Three. Two, one. As you inhale, step forward and come up to warrior one. There's energy going on from the like uh, pel pelvic floor going through the crown of your head and energy downwards through your feet and energy up, up and down and feet forward and backwards. So these energy resistance, please be aware of it. Three more seconds. Hold. Three, two, one. As you exhale, pivot your right foot to the right side of the mat. 
Open your arms, warrior two. Squeeze your glutes and wide, open your hips wide to the left, right side of the mat. As you exhale, sit slightly lower, lower down your body. Shoulders away from your ears. Three more seconds. Three, two, one. Inhale, lift your left arm up and overhead. Bring your right arm, grab your left thigh and stretch the left side of the body. Five, reverse warrior. Three, two, one. As you exhale, bend your elbows in the back and grab hands, each other. Five, look overhead. Three, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, palms down into the mat, comes into plank. Inhale, stay there. As you exhale, knee down. Bend your elbows half down. As you inhale, cobra. As you exhale, downward facing down. As you inhale, step forward. As you exhale, four, four, go deep into the four, four. As you inhale, arms up towards the sky, mountain pose. Armpit towards your face. As you exhale, padasana, standing pose. As you inhale, lift your arms fo up forward. Palms facing downwards. And as you exhale, sit into chair number one. Create a neutral spine. Shoulders, shoulder blades away from each other. Shoulders down. And five, four, three, two, one. As you inhale, reach your arm overhead, up towards the ceiling and palms together. And bring your feet together. As you exhale, sit down into Gattasana, chair number two. Use your spine. If this is when you lift your hands too much, then you, are, you have arched back. So please lower down your hands so that makes you can have neutral spine. Five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, palms at the heart. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, twist your body to the right side, left hands on top of your right thigh. Push your palms in front of chest and look over the right shoulder. And left hips back. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist to the left. Push your palms at the heart in front of your chest and look over the left shoulder. Bring your right hips back. Five, four, three, two, one. As you inhale, arms up and stand up. As you exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. Calm yourself down, settle down into this pose. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose for three times. One more deep breath in and out. Let's practice eagle pose. As you inhale, arms up towards the sky, palms together. As you exhale, right arm under. So bind your hands once or twice. Palms together. And if possible, squeeze your, squeeze your elbows in and down so that make sure the tip of your fingertips lower than your nose. And as you exhale, sit on an imaginable chair and then lift your right leg and wrap it around. One, bind one or two, and then stay there. Squeeze your knees and thighs and open up your hips and also squeeze your elbow in and open up your shoulders. Three, two, one. Release as you inhale, palms together and overhead. As you exhale, now left arm down. Bind one or two. Squeeze your elbows in, collarbone wide, and fingertip lower than the level of your nose. As you exhale, sit back, and this time, wrap your left leg around your right leg once or twice. I don't like to hook it because if you hook it, you let it go, though you don't actually engage your muscles. So do not hook it, just squeeze elbow and your legs and open up your hips and shoulders. Create a space. Three, two, one. Perfect. As you inhale, 
release and exhale. Feet hips width apart, parallel to each other, arms down by the side. Tadasana. Take a deep breath in and out three times. Three, two, one. Wonderful. As you inhale, arms up towards the sky, mountain pose. As you exhale, four, four. Belly on your thigh, if needed, bend your knees. As you inhale, halfway up. As you exhale, plank. Inhale, stay there. Exhale, knee down, bend your elbows, halfway down. As you inhale, chest up and forward, squeeze your shoulder blades on the back, cobra. As you exhale, downward facing down. As you inhale, bring your left leg forward, and then come up to lower lunge. And arms down on your chest, chest, uh, waist, I'm sorry. And I want you to bounce as you contact your old muscles in the back and try to engage your hip flexor, right hip flexors. So bounce five times, one, two, three, four, five. Stay there, five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale gently, let your right knee down on the mat, top of your feet down, and then tuck your tailbone under and engage your hip flexor, right hip flexor right now, and move forward and back as you engage. Keep tucking your tailbone under and five times bounce. One, two, do as much as you can. Three, four, five, hold, tuck your tailbone under. Three, two, one, perfect. Now, bring your hand, right hand down. As you inhale, lift your left arm and open up your chest to the left side and open up the thoracic spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go further. Let your left knee fall to the left side. So open up your hips even wider. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Bring your left hand arm down. And this, bring your left knee right beneath of your left wrist and left heel in front of your groin, right groin, and come into pigeon pose. Here we go. Light on your hands. We're going to go down and up five times. So actively, if you want to go further, hands on your waist or hands on in the back of your head, wherever you are, let's do five Active pigeon. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down on the ground. As you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, go down. Fold your hands and place your forehead on, your, on top of your hands. Rest for three seconds. Take a deep breath in and out through three seconds. One, I'm in three breaths. Two, last breath. Three, breathe in to the muscles that you are engaging right now. Okay, walk your hands up. Press your palms into the mat and come back to downward facing dog. Wonderful. As you inhale, step forward and comes into lower lunge. And hands on your waist. Engage your left hip flexors. Bounce. Press the thing, like toes down into the mat and contract all the left muscles. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Five, four, three. Two, one. As you exhale gently, let your left knee down, top of your left knee down. Tuck your tailbone under. Engage your left hip flexor as hard as you can. And then move forward and back five times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Tuck your tailbone under. Three, two, one. Perfect. Left hands inside of the right leg. And as you inhale, open your chest to the right side and exhale, stay there. Five, 
Open more. Four. Three, two, one. Even let your right knee fall to the right side so kind of your solar feet lifted. Five, four, three, two, one. What a wonderful stretch. Come back and press your palms into the mat. Come back to downward facing dog. And as you inhale, come forward. As you exhale, come back into Chaturanga. As you inhale, upward facing dog. As you exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, step forward. As you exhale, forward, forward. As you inhale, hips down on the mat and extend your legs. Bend your knees, feet together, knees together. Again, hands slightly back. Lift your legs up, shin bone parallel to each other. Extend your legs. I can't skip core workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend your legs. This is my fair bit part. Five, four, three, two, one. Palms together. Inhale, lengthen in the spine. Exhale, twist to the right. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the left. Look over the left shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale to the right. One more time. Ex inhale, come back. Exhale to the left. Inhale, come back. And exhale, only the lower back down. With your shoulders, head, feet lifted. One, inch ab one or two, three inches above the ground with your feet and palms separated. Reaching forward. Five. Four, lower back down. So engage your core. Three, two, I know I'm counting late, right? One, zero. Perfecto. Bend your right knee. Press down the feet into the ground and shift your hips to the right side. Right foot on top of your left thigh. Grab the right knee down to the left. Left arm, if you straighten left arm, palms downwards, or if you bend your elbow, palms facing upwards. Both shoulders on the ground as you exhale deep into a spinal supine twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Hips always down to the left. Inhale, come back. This time, move your hips to the left side. Left foot on top of your right thigh, hips down to the right this time. Grab your right left knee down to the right. And left arm extended, palms facing downwards, or bent, palms facing upward, cactus pose. Again, both shoulders always on the ground. As you exhale, go into deep supine spinal twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Again, this is active stretch right now. And bring your both legs and grab your legs and push, push, pull down and feet pushing up. Happy baby. Ready? Go. Five, four. Engage the muscle active. Three, two, one. Release both legs into Subhasana. Hmm. With your legs, arms extended, fully relaxed. If you don't know what to do, then all muscle contraction, all the muscles contract, 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 and, and release. It, it works better when you reach your arm forward and back and contract the muscles and lift your hips up. Then, oh, perfect. Comes into Savasana, finally. Relax your body into Savasana. With your eyes closed, let the body breathe in and out on its own. As the body exhales, relax 
tension in the body, especially between your eyebrows, in your eyelids, or in your eyeballs, or inside of your nose, or inside of your jaw, especially the lower jaw, or in your ears, or shoulders, or in your neck, your back, in your organs, all the tensions as, you, as the body exhales, relieve. Tension in your hips, pelvis, thighs, knees, calf muscles, ankles, feet and toes. Relax all the muscle tension. Just let it go of every tension in the body. We feel happiness when we are here and now. It simply means when the amygdala in the brain, the fear detection system, is activated, we don't feel happy at all. But when it's deactivated, when prefrontal cortex is activated, we feel presence here, and then we feel happy. So when you relax into this vasana, as a natural result is you feel happy. Happiness comes within. That's the beauty of vasana practice at the end. No thoughts, no emotions. Just be here and now as an observer. Slowly move your fingers and toes, your head, wiggle them around. Be aware of sensation happening in the body. Yes, this is your body. Through your body, you feel everything. All the emotions come from your body because the body is the mind. Roll your body onto one side and come to fatal position. Like a baby in a womb, relaxed. And slowly come up into a sitting position. Make sure no tension arises in the body and in the mind. When the body is fully relaxed, the mind is fully relaxed. And what happens? You feel generally happy and peace and calm. It's a natural result. Again, the body is the mind. Emotions comes out of motion. E motion. So palms together at the heart. Let's finish the class with Om together again. Be aware of the sound from the beginning to the end. This simple awareness opens up a new world for you and wisdom arises within. Inhale. Namaste. See you next time.